Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, apologies in advance for the lighting. The just the afternoon sun, or just the afternoon in general, always makes things weird. I guess if I turn this on, it's better. It's just a bit weird to have your lights on at 3 p.m. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the earth tree. This is the big reveal from the end of the previous episode. Yeah, we got friend zoned by the earth tree which is pretty shitty uh this dude just teleported but that's okay i mean he looks very dead to me so i don't know how he's talking but yeah he's dead he's cool though again my one of my favorite characters in the game so yeah besides the point we have a hundred and ten K souls plus his actual soul Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You unable to enter the tree. No? I like that we got the rain I don't know if the rain always triggers here but it in it enhances the atmosphere let's say All right, lightning. She always reminds me of lightning. It's the hair color. God, I'm not looking forward to the mountain top. That's for sure. Let's talk. Oh, okay. All right, then level us up. I cannot believe that's only two levels. <laughs> that's a little bit unbelievable. Uh, we can get 50. See, 50 is kind of significant because that's getting up there, boy. Uh, yeah. Cool. Actually, does 50 allow us to use one of the cool stabs? 60, it's 52. Yeah, because we have these two. And I think this is the one I want to go for. Enhance his power, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have the stats. This one needs fucking 10 strength. I know that this one, the Azure one, is really good. People use that quite a lot. And the carry and regal one is pretty good as well, but that one is 60. Uh, in fact, I think this might be the best one. I think I'm just going to go for this one, the carry and regal scepter. Uh, 10 more. We can use the current staff we have until then, uh, and then that's it. So I think what we're going to do here is we need to go back to the round table hold and do stuff with Morgoth's soul. There's not much we can do, uh, but there's the two fingers. Like is, this advances the plot quite a bit. Good question. Uh, let's see. We can get two things. His sword and regal omen burn. Which I don't even know what the hell this is. This is a, a talisman? I think so. 
Anyways, we want none of these. Um, just not useful. We have some equipment too that we could get. I mean, this Radana helmet is pretty sick, but it doesn't match the vibe that we're going for. This is a cool character though. I like that she actually turns out to be chill with us doing a bunch of like shit. Well, they're not exactly here, are they? I think that's her reasoning too. That's why I like this. All right. Well, we had a nice conversation right there. And I think what we need to do here is we can talk to Gideon. Is this guy like dead or some shit? What the hell is his problem? I mean, it's weird that there's like flies coming out. Is this guy like rotting below the waist? little bit strange anyways I'm gonna go ahead and take a look around let's see if there are any significant improvements or movements here how, could I how do you advance her quest line this is the thing I don't know like she just kneels there being all emo and I don't know man it's weird anyways uh, getting off near yeah, 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 cool. You're an asshole anyways, so... You know. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we'll pop Morgoth's soul. And that didn't give nearly as much as I thought it would. I know I have quite a few more things to do. We need to eventually get to the point where we duplicate Renala's rune. It's just so annoying to try and do that. And yeah, a couple of other things. See, we basically have free reign now. We are pretty powerful. And I think the thing to do here is advance Selen's quest line. This shit, I had to look this up. This is absolutely crazy, her quest line. The game expects you to find like certain dungeons and all this, but the location of them are like absolutely ridiculous so i think there is one here in this church of plague area uh, not where i just was but what you have to do is find one of these grave sites so what happens is yeah i had to look this up again because this is absolutely crazy there's an illusory wall here it's like how in the actual hell are you supposed to figure this out on your own? How are you supposed to know that there is a random illusory wall behind the grave and that's where Selen's questline continues? Unbelievable. Still, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we've managed to find it. This is, I think, a standard... Oh before I forget so this is a fairly standard dungeon uh, we just go through and I think Lusat is who we're looking for if I remember correctly I don't know man these names so you have these two um, that I haven't shown 
the only issue is that Rockslink is just so useful. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this setup that I got currently spell setup wise. So I'm not sure how much I wanna like screw around with this. You know, if it's not broken. Oh man, you are some like weak ass sorcerers. Gotta be on the lookout. The f the illusory walls are. <laughs> you really, you really gotta go through this game and hit everything. Like, who knows if people have actually discovered all of the illusory walls? I mean, that makes sense at least in terms of um, it being at the end of the actual path. So you kind of expect it at that point that there would be something to progress to. Very Crystal Cave-esque, by the way. I'm guessing down here is where we need to progress. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Okay. There's a helicopter going by, which is just the joys of summer and having your window constantly open. It's not, not actually hot enough to have your AC on today. Or have my AC on. I mean, you could have your AC on. I don't know about you. But me, I don't. But that was pretty easy. Because I was just about to say, if there's one enemy I don't want to encounter, it's that fucking thing. But that was pretty okay. Oh, shit. There's a very similar cave in... What the hell? They have white dragon breath. Cool. Man, I miss white dragon breath. That spell hasn't been in any of the games since Dark Souls 1, right? Yeah, what, I'm, what I was about to say is I'm going off of purely instinct here. There's... Something down there for sure. I didn't expect this to be such a... Like, huge branching path cave. I mean, they give you a stake of Marika too, so... You know things are about to go down. Although this feels like the main path. So yeah, the reason I'm just doing this is, again, I kind of put this off because I was making progress in the capital and shit like that. I know there's still like main game content with, what's his name? Rykard, but I still don't know if I'm strong in time. I mean, I've literally gained one point of HP since I last fought him and he was absolutely demolishing me, so... Not sure how this is gonna go. I mean, this I know is gonna probably go well. Mm, screw these snails. Oh, okay. Is that how we're gonna play it? I always forget these things are... also resistant to magic, which is... a bit strange, but... I think carry and slicer is probably the way. Come on, flasks. What? What? Scarlet rot? Shit, I don't even have the thing that cures scarlet rot, I think. Alright. We actually kind of have a problem here. In that I need to get the boys out. What? What is... <laughs> oh man, such an Elden Ring attack. I'm about to die from Scarlet Rot. If I don't heal right now. Did I get them out? No, I did not. 
There we go. Yeah, I'm going cheapo mode here. Just because the squad can break the guard very easily. And they're already getting their asses kicked. This is like strangely... They're like strangely tough. This group. I should have summoned them from... Whoa. From the start. Yeah, this spear one is... An absolute shithead. And we are not doing too hot. I think that's putting things lightly here. I actually have no heals. I I'm dead. I am dead. Well. Not how I expected this to go. I mean, getting Scarlet rotted is a bit of a problem. That's for sure. Three of them too? <sighs> Unbelievable. At least we have a side of grace. So what I'm gonna do is take a quick detour. Since it put me here, back here, let me try and get to that blue shit right there. Because I think it looks... I mean, is this a bottomless pit? I actually can't fucking tell. And that's a bit of an issue. It doesn't look like it. Oh god. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Because this to me is very suspicious. I mean, there's a fool here. Yeah, we had to come here. So it's not just about... Uh, breaking the... I, I mean, just doing the actual dungeon. Oh, hey there. You are very much dead. <laughs> Talk about giving a handout. Stars of Ruin. I mean, that sounds serious. 43. Fires 12 dark shooting stars that pursue foes. Legendary sorcery devised by Lusat Primeval Sorcerer. Fires 12 dark shooting stars that pursue the target. This sorcery can be cast while in motion, charging increases potency. When Lusat glimpsed into the primeval current, he beheld the final moments of a great star cluster, and upon seeing it, he too was broken. So I'm getting a theme here that all these, like, primeval sorcerers... Unlocked, basically unlocked knowledge they shouldn't have and got screwed as a result. That spell actually sounds sort of sick, I'm not gonna lie. The only issue is that there are some spells you just never see people use and this is a spell I never see anyone use. So the concern is it's probably not very good. Uh, did I just get back to the beginning? I think I did. So I'm gonna have to... Okay, it's not really the beginning. Cool. Trying to find your way through this shit is not the easiest. But what I was gonna say is... I'm gonna try and make it back to the bosses and then... We'll go from there. Actually, I was gonna cut here, but we don't need to because the boss is right here. Alright. Can I get the boys out? And summon them immediately. We're not messing here. This is actually a significant run back. Maybe I should have cut this out. Oh well, too late now. Alright, you three, or however many you are, four, come on out. 
Why does this Scarlet Rock... Oh, fucking... Uh, out of all the possibilities, why does it have to be Scarlet Rot? Fucking... I think it would be... I would have a hard time coming up with a more annoying enemy than this Spear one. Okay, I gotta s focus on the same one that the squad is focusing on. So we can break them. Oh! I did not know you can backstab them. Even when they're not in the broken state. See, I don't know if it's about just doing damage to them or number of hits or like what triggers. That would be the important thing to figure out. I think they just all died. Still... We're not in the worst situation because two of them have the broken uh, shield or whatever. Oh fuck, why don't I use my meteor? I'm such an idiot. I totally forgot that they are very weak to rock sling. It just like breaks their shit instantly. Okay. Never mind. Okay, that's one dead. Yeah, I totally forgot. And all we gotta be careful of is not die to... Scarlet Rot. Because that's still going. Okay. Rock sling this last one. It misses a lot because... Just so thin. This is close. This is... Oh, come on, just break! Am I... am I dead? I don't actually know. Come on. It's dead. Is there... Teleport. Get back. I think this gets rid of... Well, I almost did cure my Scarlet Rod, but that was really close. Why was that harder than, like, Morgoth? It resets your Scarlet Rod. How fucked up is that? Oh, I gotta get back in there, because I'm, uh, I'm li like legit about to die. Oh, no. Am I, am I screwed? I'm screwed. It's too... <laughs> it's too late. No, no, no. It's... Talk about coming in clutch. Alright. That was fun. We got some new toys to play with. Let's check out... Uh, where is it? Stars of Ruin. And we also have Crystal Barrage, I think? Crystal Torrent. We'll have a play with them. I think Crystal Torrent might be the good one. There's a version of one of these spells. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Now all we need to test is, does it actually do any damage? Uh, well, sort of, but not really. It takes like a year to cast. So this is like the shitty version of... Um, what you call it? Comet Zor. Whoa. I feel like this is gonna take like a year to cast. Oh wow, that is not impressive at all. Man, it's such a shame. There are so many creative spells in this game, and a lot of them are just not good. It's like they were afraid to let some of these like more advanced spells do damage. 
But then you have some shit like fucking Comet Azor, which does actually do an actually insane amount of damage. So I don't know. All right, let's get back to Selen. Cool. This is what I saw. You remember how it was really weird that I found like her body um, in like playthrough one and I couldn't just figure this shit out. So that's it. She's so nice now. You know, she was kind of a dick to us at the beginning, but now we are like super best friends. And you don't have a lot of friends in this game, so. Don't worry, I got you. I got you fam. So yeah, basically we come out from the church and this is the place right here. Witchbane Ruins. <laughs> you have this thing. And this thing is pretty funny. Uh, I mean, it's like a glintstone. I don't even know what the hell this is, but it's weird. Anyways, we're a little bit OP for it, I think. Yep. I mean, it's just straight up not doing any damage to us. Sucks for you. See, it's like... <laughs> oh, man. Do I feel bad? Not really. I don't even remember if there's a boss here. I don't think there is. There we go. Oh, Ambush Shard. This is the one that like teleports behind the enemy, nothing personnel. That's pretty cool. This is basically like her soul, I'm guessing. Try not to have your volume on full blast if you're on this scene. <laughs> he just puts it in her, in her ass. And that's like, <laughs> oh man, that's a little bit rude. Cool. Let's just check that out. I mean, I feel like that's a description we need to read. Glintstone from within the sorcerer Selen's body, seemingly half alive, blood vessels are visible within. In essence, the primal Glintstone is a sorcerer's soul. If transplanted into a compatible new body after their orig original body dies, the sorcerer will rise again. Cool. All right. And this is where I'm a little bit uncertain on where to progress with this questline. I stopped reading the wiki article, but I'm guessing going back to her wouldn't hurt. Oh, 
Oh, she's no longer here. All right, then. Fine by me. I take a look and see what that is, but the reason I'm here in the Bestial Sanctum is I've been trying to like kill the Black Blade Kindred. Uh, I've pre periodically come back and this fucker is hostile too. I've been like periodically coming back to try and kill it. Jesus! That is too much damage. Uh, so, I've been trying to get a shit ton of souls by killing the Black Blade Kindred. My theory is that with the proper spell setup it could be possible. The only issue is this asshole Gurang, who is really Malekith, is being a bitch and is being hostile. And he does this, like he's meant to do this, uh, after you give him a certain number of death root. I just didn't know how many, so I triggered this when I shouldn't have. See, because you see how much damage I'm doing to the Black Blade Kindred. Now, this is the counter problem. And that, yeah, it's not really working out. And stupid Gurank is there, uh, hostile, who's dealing an equal amount of damage, so... I'm not sure this is a strategy that will bear much fruit currently. But it's something I've been trying to do. And I'm guessing it's still a little bit too early to attempt this. Which is a shame, but... In terms of, like, events for this episode, I think we've done all we can. I've at least started the selling thing. I'll take a look on what to do next. I don't know, bro. Like, this very much looks possible. Just this amount of damage is insano. I mean, definitely not with three Ceruleans. Uh, but with a little bit more. I mean... This guy doesn't have a massive moveset. It's just this. I mean, again, it's it's definitely possible. It just, am I actually gonna be able to do it? Not sure. I'll try a couple of times off screen, cause why not? Anyways, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, people, is I'll wrap up this episode here. Well, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring the Sorcery playthrough. If you did, as always, I'm just gonna grab this. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess he's not hostile. Question is, can I snipe Malekith from here? Because, man, do I want to get rid of him. No, because he does the stupid rock sling, and that does a lot of damage. Maybe we had a stronger spell. Of course it clips through. Alright. Well, so he's cheating. But that's okay. I can cheat too. Anyways, I'm gonna try to do this uh, somehow, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's it. Alright, I guess I did it. Again, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. What does he say? Poor Malekith. I actually kind of like him as a character. Um, yeah, see you next time.